Get ready for the next battle. Gee whiz, it's Tooney SA and we're back on our quest to defeat Wumpa Lewis's Platinum Relic Times. Today I'm going to try and tackle... Tackulate? Today I'm going to try and tackle uh, G whiz and maybe one of a level. 105, 49 or 59 was Lewis's time. I'll double check next time I die. We had a pretty smooth sailing episode the last one. Making waves gave us a little bit of trouble but nothing too bad. Um, I was informed by a few commenters that actually, you know, maybe skipping some of those one crates and taking tighter corners would have made it a bit easier to beat Lewis's time. Potentially even by the one second target that I have for platforming levels. So far this level feels smooth. Probably don't need that Aku to be honest. It's going to waste time, isn't it? Unless there's triple Aku capabilities. I've seen two Aku crates now, so I just need to remember if I see a third, that uh, triple Aku is something that's worth going for. If not, then I can just ignore it. So I think it's highly unlikely I'm going to beat his time on the very first try here. Although we are not too far away. Never mind, we beat him on the very first try. Okay. And it was 105.49 that he had. 105.49. Yeah, so we already beat him by the one second that we needed. Job's done. <laughs> um, you can't get triple Aku on that level, so I can save a little bit of time by not getting the Aku Aku crate um, the second time around. So, you know what? I'm going to set myself the goal here of maybe sub one minute for G-Wiz. That could be a good, good target. I think what sub one minute's not going to be easy. Four seconds is quite a mountain to shave off, but there's a few things I can do, such as hitting the clock, um, as well as then just ignoring the mask a little bit later on, taking some tighter angles. So I think it is within the realm of possibility, even if it is going to be a challenge. That was not good. You always seem to land on the crates whenever you're uh, trying to spin them on this, because... Seems like the spin does, like, the glide ability to some extent, even if you're not spamming it. Not sure if that's just my imagination or what. Alright, I believe up here is where the mask is, so we can just ignore this mask over here to save a nice bit of time. That's definitely saved about a second and a half, I would say. And then you just don't want to be spinning that long because when you're spinning, you can't be sliding. If you're not sliding, you're not getting the maximum amount of speed. Damn. We was about to get a one one minute, like just under one and one oh one there. Oh, I forgot the uh the golden rule. Clock. I'm not even counting out as an attempt, I just forgot the clock. Uh, let's go again. But yeah, I feel like sub one minute is definitely possible, given that I almost did it on my second try through the level with just those little minor adjustments. Again, I just want to hit the thing. I don't want to be bouncing off the crates the way there he is, but there's just something about Crash 3 that makes bouncing off the crates a little bit more difficult to avoid. Because I'm trying to spin them, but like the glide just makes it so that he hovers for a split second or something, which means that you end up landing on the crate as a jump, as opposed to spinning right through it. That was going well, that's a shame. Alright, we're going to get it this time. It's going to be this one. I'm only getting this mask because it's like right in the way, and it may be can help if I can get it to uh, be used upon those nitro crates um, towards the end of the level. Alright. That seemed better because I was more further along, and it's a good job that you don't bounce your head off the portcullis there, that kind of suck. Yeah, I think this is a faster run thanks to that so far.
Ooh. I did not want to lose it to the goat. Sugar. I was aiming to try and spin that two crate. That's right. That uh, that's slow as dicks. If you do it like that, you actually save zero seconds. Then if you just like kept going. Fortunately, I don't have a wacky backy. Yeah, that's gonna cost me. Um, you're gonna lose time on that, and I'm all, I also lost too much time on those uh, second crates. All right, I believe that's probably as far forward as I can get away with. Um, on this. Just wish, yeah, there's a couple of crates on this particular challenge that are just a bit more annoying than you want them to be. Um, otherwise, this would be really easy to get sub one minute on, to be honest. It's just going to require getting those crates in a very, very well done manner, I guess. All right. What? Why did I take damage on the goat? I'm landing on him from above. That was absolute trash. I was landing on the goat from above. I did not deserve to have a run end to that. That was trash. I did want to try and get maybe two levels done in this session because I think Hog Ride is going to be a bit of a ball ache. He did it again! He went straight past the two crate and instead hit the go. But yeah, Hog Ride's going to be a bit of a ball ache, like, so I'm anticipating uh, a little bit of trouble with that level. Um, I think it will take me a whole episode for Hog Ride. It, I may even need to do, like, after recording, similar to how Lewis did it, um, just to do that. Damn. Yeah, like... That goat really screwed me over there. Which is uh, really frustrating because, you know, there was that run as well early where I was definitely going to get it if I just hadn't um, have lost the uh, mask a little bit earlier. So I should really already have completed this challenge that I've set myself and be on to the next one, but... Was not to be... Hard to be angry at this level though, because it's got such a jolly soundtrack. Alright, here we go. Annoying break number two. I don't think you can. If, if you hit the go like that, I think it's run over. Because you can't then get the nitro crates. So I'm going to keep going just in case. But um, it really, really makes it difficult. Yeah, like, I reckon, like, if that goat guy hadn't got me there... Damn. Yeah, if that goat guy hadn't got me, that would have been the run. And it's mad how, like, an enemy that usually is very, very inconsequential is suddenly becoming an issue just because of where his hitbox extends to on top of his body for some reason. And you can tell that because he's like the only goat in the level that literally causes this issue. The other goats, you have literally zero problems with. Thought for sure his uh, spell was going to flip me there. All right. Well, at least the goat was in a different spot. You can see. Look at that. Look at that bastard. He actually tracks you. That one. I'm not sure if they all do that, but he does. He actually tracks you, um, even when he's not facing you. Dirty, dirty trick. All right. We do have an Aku Aku. Yes, we did it. Sub one minute, barely, but that, that'll do. I only wanted to get sub one minute. That's fine. If I had have had a little bit more luck towards the end there, I even reckon like maybe I'd have got low 59, high 58, but 
It'll do. I'm happy with that. Trying very, to smash very them all. Then we'll be good. He's suddenly becoming an issue just because of where his hitbox extends to on top of his body for some reason. And you can tell that because like he's that. like that the only goat in the level that literally causes this issue. The other goats, you have literally zero problems with. Thought for sure his uh, spell was gonna flip me there. All right. Well, at least the goat. What a way to ruin spot. a fucking you can see, run! Look at that. Look at that bastard. He actually tracks you. That one. I'm not sure if they all do that, but he does. He actually tracks you, um, even when he's not facing you. Dirty, dirty trick. Right, we do have an Aku Aku. Yes, we did it. Sub one minute barely, but that, that'll do. I only wanted to get sub one minute. That's fine. Oh. Did I go I behind had, the had thing? The time it That was a 104 like or a 3. Got... The last level I'm going to tackle in this episode is Hang Them High for a time of 42.24, I think is where I'm looking at. This level's going to give me a little bit more setup than the other one. So there's a few things you can get out of the way right at the beginning of the level. I don't recall if this one has triple Aku. Um, I, I literally only watched Lewis do this like maybe like five days ago, but I, I, I already can't remember if it's got triple Aku or not. It's definitely got two Akus already. Oh yeah, it has. Okay, well, we might as well write off any attempts on this level um, as soon as we lose an Aku because we're going to need it. Would be nice if they spawned you, like, um, right next to the clock on this one instead of having to traverse up the... Uh, why did I think that he was going to be behind me? Love these levels casually. I'm not sure how much fun I'm going to have on them while doing this challenge, to be honest. I think it's mainly the uh, section that I'm on right now, the um, the rail sections, that I'm going to like really not enjoy very much. Damn, you can totally make that. You can totally make that. Interesting. I mean, I made it luckily the first time, but I, I literally thought I was just being stupidly lucky. Alright, get triggered. You are very soon going to see the yellow gem floating behind the city. So I haven't got it yet. Bang, bang. Wow, I took damage because it ended right at the wrong time there. Ugh. Alright, what's that? 42 something. Yeah, I need to be faster. Wasn't too bad though. I was maybe going to get a 45 there, so I need to basically shave off um, 4 seconds. Which I don't think is going to be that difficult once I get more familiar with the level, because I'm a bit unfamiliar with the level still. And if I don't get bullshit like that again. I had that from the goats. You are not a goat, sir. You are not the greatest of all time. Alright, you can definitely make that jump as well. This guy here. Good stuff. Go, 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 go. Alright, he's gonna just about clip me. There we go. You can't, like, get too cocky where... Oh. Everything you're trying to do, damage boosting, will just like boost you into a, like an obstacle, making the point that the point of having damage boosting pointless. There we go. That's the jump I was trying to get earlier. That's a much better landing. Let's go. 
Alright, let's try and do this faster. I did get stuck on the railings in quite a few different spots, which is definitely a cause of two of the seconds that I can make up. Before I get railed on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully I can get to that nitro crate on time this time. Yes, there we go. That's what we want to see. <laughs> Alright, that ate my jump input because I started to fall. There's just like so many boxes in annoying spots that can like trigger hitboxes. Also, what was with that two crate there? You see that? That two crate was like in a really weird spot. It like looked like it was eating into the wall as though it shouldn't have even been there. Curious. All right, let's try this again, and this time let's not get stuck on the bloody rails. Here we go. It's just looking promising. You know what? Fine. At that point. Oh my gosh, it happened again. Oh, wow, actually... Lewis did a pretty solid time. Let me just double check. I'm reading that right. Yeah, he did. He got 42. 42 what? 42. 24. Yeah. No, Lewis did actually get a really good time on this level. Um, where I stopped there, I still had like what? Like another second and a half to go. And I was already just about over his time. So. Even though I'm doing a couple of things better than he is at the start, for example. My general movement is definitely not better. So I've got a lot to learn. Right, that was interesting. Completely altered that cycle. Ah, there it is. You see that? That, that two crate there? I know probably someone's probably thinking, oh, use the triple spin here or whatever. But like, so far I've not really found a spot where I'm like, oh yeah, that could be utilized for the triple spin. Tornado spin. Did it again. Out of the way. Break rate. Right. There we go. That was smoother. You can probably get away with doing like a double jump there, to be honest. I'm probably being a little bit too cautious. Dang. Did not expect that to happen. That's gonna cost me, isn't it? Yeah, that would have been that would have been probably beating Lewis's time, even if I didn't quite make it to the second target. But that probably would have beaten his time. Because of that damn uh, mask actually stopping me at just the wrong kind of moment. That's got to be as far forward as you can get away with that, hasn't it? Let's move. Let's move. It's a shame, because if I hadn't have, like, nearly fell off, then I definitely would have beaten that scorpion. Bang. Bang. There we go. Alright, we're at 12 now. Usually I'm at around 14, 15 at this point, so this is going better than normal. Damn it, Aku. Your theme tune just ruined the absolute rip of this level. And I agree with one of the commenters. It is a better soundtrack on the original than the remake for this level. But it's still okay. It does the job. Alright. Go, 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 go. Come on. Good, 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 good. Alright, there we go. We beat Lewis by a decent amount there. You know what? Um, I think sub sub four is a good goal for this level. Sub four is reasonable. Um, it's probably the last thing I can do on this episode. So yeah, let's go for it. It's gonna be a tough run to beat though. That to be honest, I feel like I did a pretty uh, solid job on that run with very few mistakes. So uh, yeah, I'm actually not looking forward to trying to beat my own time this time. I think it's gonna be quite the goal. Damn. So 
So you gotta go for it or go home. So yeah, I just like tried to do a, a, like a delayed double jump there. Um, and of course you can't do that. It's just not a thing on this game. One of the things that Crash 4 did well, to be fair, it is, uh, you know, it's it's a good little bit of, what's the word? Um, it's good for platformers to have like an ability that allows you to do something like that. It's like something that Celeste does really well. Is like, you know, having that like dash ability to save yourself from falls. And it feels really fun if you can like, you know, nail the timing down. So it's just good for all aspects of the video game. And if you've not played Celeste before, I highly advise you to try it. It's a really, really good and solid platformer. Come on. Look at that for a time. We beat 40 by a good amount. All right. You know, I, I don't I don't think that it's going to be too difficult for my competitors to beat because I didn't really put all that much effort into that. But I still think that's going to be solid. So yeah, hang it high. That relic on my wall. 38.29, pretty good time. Definitely could get sub 38 if I kept on trying. Still a few mistakes I've divined out, but I'm happy with that time. Definitely ended up more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't having fun on that level, but once you actually figure it out, it's not too bad. Lighting mechanic is very odd. So you got to go for it or go home. So yeah, I just like tried to do a, a, like a delayed double jump there. Um, and of course you can't do that. It's just not a thing on this game. One of the things that Crash 4 did well, to be fair, it is, uh, you know, it's it's a good little bit of... What's the word? Um, it's good for platformers to have, like, an ability that allows you to do something like that. It's like something that Celeste does oh, really well. Slide there, what is, am I doing? Uh, you know, having that, like, dash ability to save yourself from falls. And it feels really fun if you can, like, you know, nail the timing down. So it's just good for all aspects of the video game. If you've not played Celeste before, I highly advise you to try it. It's a really, really good and solid platformer. Come on. Look at that for a time. We beat 40 by a good amount. All right. You know, I, I don't, I don't think. 42. That... All right. So that is the end of this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. And yep, yeah, I'll see you on the next episode, which will probably be, unfortunately, only Hog Ride. Um, if, if it's a really difficult level, I'm probably just going to edit like maybe 15 attempts max and then just when I finally do it because it's not really that much of an entertaining level to watch and be boring if you just saw me riding a motorbike for 45 minutes. But yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.